So I want to share with you guys a little bit of my my personal story and journey prophetically of how the Lord kind of led me to start the home front and the call of Joseph specifically. Back in 2019, I was getting married to my wife, Margarita, and um, I basically was really crying out to the Lord. I needed a specific financial amount to support Margarita with immigration purposes. And the Lord comforted me with just one phrase, you are Joseph. I had no idea what Joseph's name was, which also means provision or the Lord will increase. Um, and then the next day I looked up and I was $30 above the threshold of what I needed to make Margarita come into the United States. It was a miracle. And then around a year later in 2020, I already had this call that I was a Joseph. I'm falling asleep during the pandemic and uh, the Lord says, you are Joseph. I'm like, yes, I've heard this before. But then he says, and the famine is already here. And I wake up from the dream, not really a dream, more of a, I was, it was a very, very internally audible voice. The famine's already here. The urgency of what are you going to do? How are you going to prepare for the time of crisis that is coming? Because I'm going to give you increase to give to other people. So I thought it was very interesting. And um, also in 2021, um, the Lord gave me a, a dream specifically that the Lord wanted my my wife, Margaret, to go from one city to another with me to learn something together, to birth some kind of life-giving thing in, in her. And so um, we moved just like Joseph in the New Testament. He moved from, from Bethlehem to Egypt in order to provide and protect his wife in the same way that's what I was doing. And so um, moving from one place to another and then moved back to Kansas City just like Joseph did. He moved to Nazareth. And so um, I really believe the Lord has called me to be a modern day Joseph. I don't really know the full picture of what the details look like, but it has been um, clear for the last several years. And even before, even when I was doing full-time ministry in Hong Kong, I had believers come up to me and say, the, the, the box that you've been put in is too small. I'm actually not just wanting to you to be a missionary to reach and impact nations, but I'm actually gonna make you be, enable you to sow and to give uh, and to provide for many, many others to actually do the work uh, as well. And so uh, I believe this, that's why we're starting the, the Home for Initiative. And will you give a year-end gift to help us to be fully able to to reach this next generation, to empower missionaries to go and be fruitful as they go overseas. So thank you so much.